Is too good. The finger laser. Okay, okay, I get it. God, we need to switch characters anyway. Last I checked, Galactus is pretty pissed at you. Ha! Galactus is nothing compared to Doom. Doom runs a whole country, you know. Well, doesn't Galactus run the whole universe? If we don't master the rest of this roster, he's gonna come knocking at my front door. Okay, fine, cry about it, why don't you? Just pick Ghost Rider if you can't make up your simple mind. Wow. That's actually a pretty good call. Have you seen the length on his normals? He's got that huge fire chain that comes out. And if you hit a character full screen... Hmm? Oh, oh, that was weird. Yeah, if you down your opponent, you can pull out this huge flaming motorcycle and run! That looks like it hurt. It sure as hell didn't feel good. Man, is it getting hot in here? I think we should turn on the AC. Doom, what's happening? burning up. I will feast on your very soul. Anyway, Ghost Rider can be considered a heavy-hitting, long-range character. Several of his normal moves and specials can stretch across the entire screen, and he can do extremely damaging combos from one end to the other. This makes Ghost Rider really unique, as he's the only member of the cast with a playstyle like this. While most characters rely on their mobility to control space and win a game, Ghost Rider does the exact opposite. He holds his ground and controls the flow of a match through distance. He's able to do so with a variety of special moves and normals that include standing heavy, crouching heavy, jumping heavy, and jumping special. Combine these moves with proper assists and it can be extremely difficult to get in on Ghost Rider. But Ghost Rider's full screen damage potential comes with the power of his special moves. Heartless Spire is a flaming spike that comes from the floor and acts as an off the ground. It works as an anti-air, has a ton of block stun, it stops projectiles, and sets up for excellent air throw options when you finish a combo. The Rage Whip extends Ghost Rider's heavy attack and pulls the enemy closer. It's best used for playing a distance game or extending combos. If your heavy attack connects or is blocked, you press heavy one more time to activate the Rage Whip. Hellfire is a quarter screen fireball that hits about 10 times and does decent damage. The light one hits off the ground and all of them are hyper cancelable. The Chain of Rebuttal is a multi-hit stretching horizontal attack that causes a wall bounce. It's best to follow up this move with the Rage Whip, as your opponent will travel full screen. The Chain of Punishment has similar properties but is angled slightly higher. And the Judgment Strike is actually a projectile that shoots several small fireballs about three-fourths across the screen. Ghost Rider also has three full screen command grabs. The Chaos Ringer does little damage but can be used mid-combo and brings the enemy closer, allowing for an off-the-ground opportunity. 
Hell's Embrace does more damage but leaves the opponent mid-screen, and Conviction Slam is the strongest but puts the enemy at full screen distance. So, what's it like having a flaming skull for a head? <laughs> uh, did you kill Max because Doom owes that guy a lot of money? That's exactly why I'm here, Victor. To collect your debt. No, uh, no problem! Uh, Doom has about 20 grand in bison dollars! <laughs> Look into my eyes! <laughs> That's interesting. You regret none of your actions. What's there to regret? Doom's clearly perfect in every way. Huh. I kinda like you, Victor. You're not such a bad guy. Yeah, I kinda like me too. Ghost Rider's three hypers to choose from are the Hellfire Maelstrom, the Spirit of Vengeance, and the Penance Stare. Look into my eyes. Have a nice death. The Hellfire Maelstrom causes a whirlwind effect around Ghost Rider and benefits from multiple button presses afterwards for boosted damage. The best application of this hyper is after an extended combo, use the off the ground version of Light Hellfire, and then cancel it into the Hellfire Maelstrom. The Spirit of Vengeance is Ghost Rider's most damaging level 1 hyper and has several variations. With no additional buttons pressed, this move will travel the entire horizontal portion of the screen. Pressing light will cause the bike to instantly speed up, medium and special lunge into the air, and heavy causes the bike to skid off around half screen. This hyper is also best used after a combo. Down your opponent, then use it as an off the ground. Let it ride out for some time, and then press special to maximize the damage. Penance Stare is Ghost Rider's level 3 and does 450,000 points of unscaled damage. It's a command grab with decent range, but you can actually lead in with select normals extending the range even more. One of the best attributes of this level 3 is that it leaves your opponent in a stun state afterwards allowing for even more damage. Ghost Rider's assists include the light version of Hellfire, Chain Rebuttal, and Heartless Spire. Hellfire comes out slow but retains its off-the-ground ability, Chain Rebuttal comes out quicker and causes a wall bounce, but can be crouched under by most characters. Heartless Spire is my preferred assist, as you can still use it as an off-the-ground, while entering very fast and retaining its projectile-soaking attributes. Comboing with Ghost Rider can be fairly easy compared to most characters, but some drastically change depending on spacing and if you're in the corner. This first one utilizes the corner, and builds a decent amount of meter while dishing out good damage. But if you're looking for damage, do a full combo after a level 3 penance stare. This combo can easily destroy any character with less than a million health. That's so amusing now, is it? <laughs> I love running over Wesker with my bike. Yes, Doom loves running over Wesker as well. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this sucks. Why can't Doom have you for a roommate? Yeah, I don't know how you deal with that Maximilian guy with all of his hair. Yeah. <laughs> Here's to you, Ghost Rider! Huh. May we OTG in UMBC3! <laughs> you know, Doom's looking for a third teammate on November 15th! You wanna join Doom and Strider? Yeah, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I'm looking for someone a bit more demonic as I. <laughs> If you're looking for a teammate of hellish proportions, then Firebrand is your best bet. Firebrand has the credit of being the most mobile and versatile character in the air, with the most obvious proof being that he is the only one that can go from the ground into flight at multiple angles. Having no normal air dash of his own, he instead gets dives, which are angled command air dashes that can be used at multiple times. 
Additionally, several of his moves such as Hell's Elevator, Dive Kick, and Devil's Claw automatically initiate flight. Put all these together with some specialized flight cancelling abilities, and Firebrand is an absolute monster in the air. Devil's Claw is Firebrand's air dive kick. This move automatically initiates flight afterwards, allowing Firebrand to execute several other air commands. Hell's Spitfire is a fireball that travels full screen with several different angles. The light command travels horizontally, medium angled up, and heavy is angled towards the ground which also allows opponents to be hit off the ground. All of these moves can also be performed in the air. Bon Voyage is a fast-moving command grab. It's perfect for the middle of combos and positioning, as it will drag the opponent completely to the other side of the screen most times in the corner. Demon's Missile is a lunging attack with three different variations. The light version is a fast horizontal attack that will bounce off the opponent automatically engaging flight. The medium one has similar properties, but instead of bouncing off, it will leave Firebrand on the opposite side of the opponent and Heavy leaps backwards, executing a large full-screen swoop. You can actually hold Heavy even longer to charge this for more damage. Hell's Elevator initiates flight with any of the attack buttons. Light goes straight up, Medium jumps half-screen forward, which is perfect for cross-ups, and Heavy jumps half-screen away, which is excellent for escapes. The Hell Dive is Firebrand's best way to move around in the air. The Light one travels straight down, the Medium angles forward, and the heavy leaps backwards. You can do up to three of these in the air in any single super jump. And Firebrand's basic flight command is Hover, which he can initiate from anywhere in the ground or in the sky. Press back twice next to a wall and Firebrand will enter the wall clan. Pressing any of the attack buttons will give you a variety of fireball commands that shoot from the sky, or you can press special to dismount the wall clan. Firebrand's hypers include the Dark Fire, Luminous Body, and is level 3 the Chaos Tide. Dark Fire is an angled beam projectile that starts low and ends high. This move can be done from the ground or the sky, and with multiple button presses you can boost the damage while acting as an off-the-ground hyper. This move is best placed at the end of extended combos or for punishing assists. Luminous Body is a self-inducing speed boost that is similar to Wolverine's Berserker Charge. With all of Firebrand's already fast-moving mobility options, and the fact that he can build meter while in this hyper, Luminous Body makes him an absolute terror. The Chaos Tide summons another Red Armorer to hover above and assist Firebrand. Pressing several attacks will execute different functions. Light does an angled fireball, pressing medium gives you a horizontal lunge that travels through the opponent, and then Heavy does a swooping attack which is the most abusable of the three. You can actually stack the Luminous Body with this Hyper to make it even faster. With different levels of X-Factor, this can easily set up for full-screen block strings and can cause a ton of chip damage. Firebrand's three assists are the Heavy version of Hell Spitfire, the Medium Demon Missile, and the Heavy version of Demon Missile. Hell Spitfire still works off the ground but comes out very slow. The Medium Demon Missile comes out the fastest and crosses over the opponent on the ground, and the Heavy Demon Missile comes out in an angle and does a swooping motion which is difficult to punish. Choosing between the two variations of Demon Missile are my personal favorites. Comboing with Firebrand isn't too difficult, but it does present some pretty unique challenges. Here's a simple one that utilizes Bon Voyage as a combo extender and ends with Dark Fire to hit off the ground. And here's another one that gets a bit more technical with flight cancelling, but concludes in a similar fashion. Amazing. This thing is a nightmare to go in the bathroom. Yeah, that's why Doom had a waste receptacle built in. Yeah. At least I think I did. Well, Victor, the night is young, and the guilty need to be punished. Ghost Rider! Before you go, let Doom this. The finger laser! Look into my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Victor. Me too. <laughs> Come on, Ghost Rider! Come 
Action time! Max, where were you? You let me cover two whole characters by himself. I can't feel my face. Well, you look better without one. 